Hello and welcome back to our cave biology. Now, previous lessons we have considered the botanical classification of plants. We have looked at the thallophytes and the barophytes. So, in today's lesson, we will be considering the tracheophytes. What exactly are the features of these plants? Now, tracheophytes, unlike thallophytes and barophytes, actually have roots and they have stems and leaves. Aside that, they also have vascular bundles that they can use to transport food materials to different parts of the plant. They form something called a pollen tunnel, which is used to transport male gametes to female gametes. Now, they use this pollen tunnel instead of using water. Some other plants use water instead. Now, tracheophytes produce fruits and flowers. So, they also exhibit alternation of generation. Tracheophytes can be further grouped as pteridophytes and spermatophytes. Now, pteridophytes are plants with vascular bundles that don't produce flowers and seeds, while spermatophytes produce both flowers and seeds, but they can also be further grouped into angiosperms and gymnosperms. Now, the angiosperms are those that have their seeds covered or enclosed in something called the ovary which is the part of a plant that we all know as the fruit. While the gymnosperms are those that don't have their seeds enclosed in an ovary. Now finally, the angiosperms can be further divided into monocotyledons or monocots. That is those that just have one cotyledon or seed leaf. And dicots, that is those that have two cotyledons or seed leaf. Now, a cotyledon is the first leaf that comes out when a seed germinates. Examples of monocots would be maize, wheat, while examples of dicots would be oranges or mango. In our next lesson, we would consider other ways by which plants can be classified. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.